To start using WPG Translate, upload the plugin to your WordPress site and then activate it. Once the plugin is active, click on the menu link for it and start the setup process. The first step is to choose where the translator snippet will appear on your site. I'm going to select widget for this demo. Next, click on the link for Google Website Translator in step two. You will then need to provide the web address for your site and specify your settings. Select the translation languages you want to use on your site and the display mode. Once you have saved the site on Google, return to the plugin setup. Here you will need to duplicate the settings from Google. You can also choose to simply copy and paste the entire snippet code directly from Google to avoid duplicating the settings. The last step requires you to copy and paste the meta tag ID from Google. Just select everything in between the quotation marks, copy it, and paste it into the plugin. Since I chose to use the widget, I also need to enable this in the theme settings. Just find the WPG Translate widget and drag it into a spot to display. Now you can visit your site to see the plugin in action. I chose to display a drop down box with the allowed languages so I can select any language needed here to translate the entire site on demand. This box can also be configured to automatically select the language. Not only does this translate all of the text content of your site into other languages with ease, but it also allows your site visitors or even you to recommend changes to the translations. Just hover over translated content on your site to submit an alternate translation. These suggested changes can then be approved or denied through your Google Website Translator account and will immediately take effect on your live website when approved.